Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director here at FaithBridge and we just heard a message on community from Timothy Atik. Um, but Timothy was not able to stay because of an obligation today, and so uh, I have with me today Pastor Dan, who is uh, wise in the things that we're going to be talking about today. So thank you, Dan, sure. for stepping in to help answer some of these questions. Happy um, to do it. Uh, TA's message today just really focusing on the importance of relationships mm -hmm. and our walk with Christ. Um, and one of the questions that came in, uh, was around when he was talking about accountability. Okay. Um, and the question uh, says that, you know, TA said something, do you have someone in your life who knows about your porn addiction or someone who knows about the debt or your diet or the things that you are in? And uh, this person said that I've been in accountability partnerships for sexual sin where it was just the same cycle. I would fail, I would text to let my accountability partner know in transparency, I'd get some encouragement, maybe a Bible verse and then told my friend would pray for strength. And this helps for a while, but it was only temporary. And I never felt like I was making progress. So the question is, how do you do accountability well and effectively for long-term improvement? Well, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. And I would, uh, first of all, encourage this person by saying to them, you are by no means alone mm -hmm. in this regard. Um, you know, accountability groups are, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say dangerous things because they can give us a false sense of, of either hope or progress. It's, it's easy to think, well, I'm in an accountability group, so it's all going to be good. Mm -hmm. But that's not necessarily the case. Uh, for one thing, uh, accountability groups are only as helpful as we are willing to be transparent. Uh, if, if we're not going to be totally forthcoming with those that we are in community with, then it's not gonna work from the beginning. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like the case with this person. And so uh, in a situation like this where there is a recurring problem, I'm not gonna say that this is necessarily an addiction, but it, it could be, mm -hmm. uh, there has to be more than accountability. Mm -hmm. uh, accountability by itself will never uh, solve or address the problem. Mm -hmm. There have to be, uh, behavior changes which are brought about through intentional steps. I'm a big believer in the 12 steps. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've used them in my own life and I've seen them at work in other people's lives. And so I would encourage this person, if, if this really is uh, a, a significant enough issue that it's hindering their walk with Christ and their ability to, to be whoever God's calling them to be, to look beyond an accountability group and to begin to look for a 12-step program, either uh, SA or uh, Celebrate Recovery, things of that nature, mm -hmm. to enhance and supplement accountability. Yeah. Um, so what if uh, maybe the the sin, no, we'll just use one of mine, mine's pride. Okay. I fall into the sin of pride, which is not necessarily one that I can go to a 12-steps program for. but. Uh, with accountability, how long term do you see that work well, like in your life with your group? Well, I, I have seen certain issues in my life addressed uh, very satisfactorily through an accountability group. Mm -hmm. Just the knowledge that I was going to meet with those guys gave me the ability to say, no, I'm not going to do this. Or the accountability group went beyond mere accountability to actually offering me uh, help. You know, th these are some things that, that we've discovered that has helped us deal with this issue. Uh, they've pointed me in the right direction. And so there again, it's more than just accountability. It's mm -hmm. accountability plus something else. Yeah, and I see in the question where he talks about, um, or she talks about, um, that they uh, would fail, they would let their accountability partner know and walk from there. And I think one of the things uh, that has worked for me in accountability is the triggers 
that mm -hmm. might happen before I fail. Yeah. Uh, situations see that, them put, coming. that you see them coming. Yeah. And so uh, it's not necessarily that it's after, always after the fact that I've noticed that I've failed and now they're gonna encourage me back. But along the way, I'm talking to them openly about oh, yeah. uh, things and they're pointing out to me, hey, situations like this. Blind are spots. Blind spots yeah. or uh, whatever as we kind of walk along. So it's not always necessarily that it's reactive as much as it is walking along before. Yeah, proactive. Proactive yeah, I, I, in that as well. I remember well. very well early in my walk with Christ, uh, I was fortunate to be in a group with two or three guys older, more mature than me, and certainly in the faith, and uh, struggling with an issue. And uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> One of the guys saying to me, wake up, Dan. You, you are putting yourself in that place over it. Just don't go there. Mm -hmm. I, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, I never considered the possibility. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a huge, huge benefit of being with people who uh, not only care about you, but have lived enough life to be able to say, don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah, that's yeah. good for you. Um, you know, there are, he asked today, he asked the question, do you have people who speak truth into your life? Do you have people? Um, and at FaithBridge, we want you to have people. Indeed. Uh, it's, it's one of the foundational parts of being in a small group is to have people around you. Um, so I would encourage people who are listening, if you don't, if you, you, if no is the answer to that question, then be very intentional, um, whether it's online or through a connect card or calling here and speaking to a grow group coordinator to, uh, get plugged in and begin developing some of these relationships. Yeah. There's, there's no reason not to mm -hmm. here. I, I can think of any number of churches where you really would be lost mm -hmm. for that kind of community. But at faith bridge, as you say, that is a high priority for us and um, the ministry that you lead uh, in discipleship does a great job of addressing it so yeah get on the phone give a call that's awesome well thank you for your wisdom and sure. insights on accountability and thank you for joining us here for postscript we hope to see you back. thanks for joining us for postscript help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services learn more at faithbridge.org postscript